Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved server. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. I have got some work to do today, man. We are working on setting up the fence foundation. What are you doing up there, dude? <laughs> He's like spazzing out. What are you doing? What level are you? I couldn't even see your level, man. The frames over here are real. Um, but yeah, so I spent a little bit of time laying down some fence foundations, trying to get this whole place lined out just a little bit more so we can start enclosing some of the area that is around this ruin. So I think we are going to stick around this place for a little while. Um, it just kind of feels cozy, man. I like it. We got a nice little oceanfront view. We can see, you know, the beacon and all that kind of good stuff. And you know, it's not too dangerous, which is a plus. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to kind of start closing everything in here just a little bit. And I want to make sure that I crafted the right one. Alright, so we got the Behemoth Gateway. Now we just need the door. Um, but like I said, I made laid down a whole bunch of fence foundations trying to line the place out just a little bit better. And I think we should be good to go. I don't have enough walls yet. Stone is the big thing. We really need to get a Dodic. And actually, you know what? Let's start over here. The frames are real, man. Sometimes it's really, really good, and then other times it's like this. Which, I mean, isn't terrible, but I don't know what the deal is. So let's try something real quick. If I drop the ground clutter, just, actually, let's just turn it all the way off. Does that make anything better? Not really. So it's something else here. It's not really the clutter. I don't know what's going on. But kind of a bummer. That's what I'm dealing with here. But let's see if we can get this guy to snap to these foundations here. Is it going to work? Uh, can we, can you snap? Are you snapped? I feel like you're snapped right there. Or right there. I think that's a good placement. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, so we got this all set up in. Let's throw this gateway, or what is this called? The dinosaur door, right? Reinforced dinosaur gate. Um, we're going to throw this in, but I think after we do this, we are going to go meet up with Slipgator for like the first time ever. Um, I've I've hung out and played with Slipgator so many times before, but on the ARC server and stuff, our schedules are kind of like, they only line up like once in a blue moon. And he's on right now, and I asked him if he would help me go tame an RG. Since we don't have an RG, I need an RG, kind of for a weight bird so I can start collecting metal and everything else. So I think we're going to go meet up with him and uh, see what we can find. So let's go meet up with Slip, and we'll see what's up. All right, dude. So we need an RG. I was talking to Slip. He's gonna help us out. What's up, man? What's up, man? It's been a while. It's been a long time since we collabed. <laughs> yeah, man. It's nice to see you. I'm super psyched. I'm glad that I like said said hi in the chat and stuff because I miss <laughs> you, man. I'm glad yeah, that you came man. over. I miss you too. So you got a cool looking base going on over here. No shortage of dinos, that's for sure. We get a few, not a ton, but a few, and we're getting there. We're getting ready because you know the war's coming. Oh yeah, that's right. It's coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming, so we need to get ready. That's what I'm doing today. I just got um, a new RG myself. These are my two super RGs, Ooh. Gameplay and Foulmouth. Oh, that's some and, returning uh, names. I've seen those names before. Yeah, there's, we're bringing back the old school. So gotcha. these guys are both perfect tame 150s. Okay. And then I bred this guy up over here, Gameplay, Foulmouth. Foul play. Get it? <laughs> ah, foul play. Nice play on the yeah. Wow, he's so little. So there was he, some there was changes to the breeding stuff, right? Yeah, man, and I've been trying to figure out what it is, and the changes to the breeding mechanic now are there's a chance, a, there's a time that you can give the RG or the baby some sort of thing. Like sometimes it wants a cuddle, and then other times <laughs> I think it wants kibble. A cuddle and kibble. Or something like that. Like, I was looking on the wiki. There's, like, no information out about this yet. Strange. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, you can see when you mouse over, CS says wants care and 250 or whatever. Uh, he's red for me. Oh, wait. Are you not in the tribe? I don't know. I thought, are we in one tribe or are we doing separate tribes? Oh, that's right. We're separate tribes. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. I mean, if so you anyway. invite me to your tribe, I'll, I'll gladly join. He says, well, we can't have tribes because I'm trying to stomp on your face here at the uh -huh. end of next month. But... Um, <laughs> So uh, it says needs care in two hours, 50 minutes. If you look inside, it says imprinting 0%. So then like in two hours and 50 minutes, I think he'll have like some sort of, there'll be an event where he's like, I'm ready to be cared for in some way. And then I think that you either need to cuddle them or I'm not sure exactly what happens. Sometimes I think they ask for kibble. Um, and then that gives you a chance to get like increased stats of some sort. Oh, okay. 
That's so, kind of weird, actually. I mean, it is cool. weird. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more the weird waiting around, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Um, and I probably won't even do, to be honest with you, um, because I just don't have time to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's still kind of cool. You get to interact with your guy. A little bit of something, something. So yeah. anyway, no time we for need cuddles. To get you, yeah, I don't have time to cuddle. We got taming <laughs> to do. So you want to go ahead and how? What level is your pteranodon you brought over? Uh, he's 170. Yeah, is he is he soft? He's he's a little <laughs> squishy. Yeah. All right. Why don't you take foul mouth? He's my super guy, and I'll take gameplay. Gameplay is pretty new. Okay. Do we have to uh, try like? Oh wait, you up? can't. Crap! You can't take him. I take uh, my bird. If he dies, it ain't no big deal. I've got you three other take ones. your guy. I always forget we're in separate tribes. So we'll take my guy, and then let's head over to the charcoal island over here, the the new kind of Carno island, and okay. we'll take a look for an RG for you. Cool. So there's. There's tons and tons of them over here. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, I just went out just now. I mean, I wasn't on the island for more than, I don't even know how long, maybe 10 minutes. And That's I found a 150. Okay. Yeah. And that kind so, of blew my mind. I didn't realize until I think it was like last week that 150 was the new max level. I guess that changed. Yeah. When they dropped the center map, they released the difficulty five. Oh, okay. And so we just upped the difficulty. So the difficulty goes up and the difficulty is just basically it's a multiplier like you know difficulty five it's five times the the difficulty so uh, 150 is the highest and 150 divided by five is 30 so because like in the regular difficulty is one 30 is the highest level gotcha okay. uh, two at 64 it's 120 and then five at 150. gotcha gotcha all right so so that's why we went up to 150, and then and then the funny thing was they didn't release the the difficulty five for uh for the island. They only did it for the center, so people were crying big time. <laughs> well, there's a 130 right there. Hey, that's not bad. I can take that one. Let's see here, 130, What's... 170. That 130's in the fray though. Uh oh, that's not mm -hmm. good. Let me see over here what we got. 45. There's another one down over there. 110. There's so many, man. Like, it's crazy. We could just fly around for a minute and see what we see. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll probably take a cut here. We'll see what we can find and come back. All right. That sounds good. Cool. Hey, we're back in deep trouble. Deep trouble. <laughs> All right, man. I got the 135 here. Not a super high level, but he's not a super low level. Okay. I'll take so, it, man. 135 is good for me. All right. So we should be able to let me show you a secret if you just strafe around behind him uh-huh like he'll barely even hit you see what i'm doing oh it's like two circles around his butt yeah you kind of want to follow his feet and eventually what he's going to do is there's a new mechanic now where they run so his topor his topor will get high enough that he's going to run um and then he'll come back it's kind of uh pain in the butt but <laughs> it's just the way it is so eventually he'll take off here. Oh, he's aggroing gameplay now. We almost got him. Uh, Don't die in your claw stuff thing. Uh, no. <laughs> gotta follow his feet. Oh, your guy's on aggressive. You gotta whistle uh, passive. Oh, uh, what's the button? Whistle passive. Got him. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there he goes. He's running now. Oh, wait. He just switched aggros. Never mind. <laughs> Is that the run? Yeah, All right, now here he's it goes. running. Okay, now we got a saber tooth over here. We got to be careful about. He should start to come back in a second. I got the saber. Who? Huh? Okay. All right, I got it. All right, here we go. Should only take a couple more hits and he'll be down. Okay. This is much easier with the your trank darts. I was trying to use arrows before and I couldn't do it, man. There he goes. He's down. Oh man, he's down. Sweet! Sweet! We did it. We did it! Amazing. <laughs> oh, you got the so, kill and everything, man. Sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem, man. I have a little stego farm. I dropped some stego kibble on it. It won't need, uh, he won't need any narco. He'll tame oh. up before we need that. Oh, okay. So, um, so now the waiting game begins. The waiting game begins. All right. Well, I guess, uh, we'll come back in a minute after he's tamed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, we're back! 
We're back. We got him. Look at it. Look at it in all of its glory. Two, two. He got a very oh. white face. I like it. He's got a white face. <laughs> Unclaim him, then you can claim him. Okay. There you go. Oh, go ahead sweet. and give a claim on him. I got him. There you go, man. Oh, dude. This is Super fantastic. Powerful. What'd you get to name it? Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna name it after my patron. I got I just re Slipgator? recently redid my patron <laughs> account. Slipgator? I can name it Slipgator. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go no. What are you saying? I'll take it back and I'm gonna name it after my patron, so Cool man, that's yeah. nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be a good deal. So thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I no problem. on my own or not, but I probably could have, but it's more fun to hang out with friends. It's nice to hang out with friends, and it's easier with track darts. <laughs> oh, so much easier. So that's our next right. goal. But now it's beaver time. I gotta go get me a beaver. You need to get some hot beaver action in your life, because <laughs> you can get all the wood with the beaver. Yep, I need all the wood. Lots of wood, lots of building. And then, uh, oh, you can't pick up a doty with the RG, can you? I'm gonna have to no, get a quetzal no. too. So that'll be the next big thing. Yeah, you're gonna need a quetz, and you're gonna need um, a dodic, and all the things. That's half the fun, man. You get all that stuff, and you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be good. But all right, man. Well, I'm gonna head back to my base, and I will let you get on with your uh, baby breeding over there. Go get some. All right, it's man. time for cuddles. Yeah, man. Maybe it's time to cuddle a little bit so <laughs> I can get some HPs on him. But thanks for coming to hang out. Hey, no and, problem. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I'll catch you later, man. All right, man. Thanks. <laughs> All right, dudes, check it out. We got our RG finally. Oh, this is so good. I'm so excited to have an RG. And well, I guess while we're over here, let's go ahead and name it. And I'm going to name it after our very first patron. Let's go ahead and tag it after ourselves here, TDC. And our first patron is a girl, and our bird is a dude. So I don't know how this is going to work. I actually think we're going to go with your last name because your last name is Boss. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Hopefully I am. But Kadra. Oh, that is a that's a, actually a pretty wicked name, especially for a bird. I think it's pretty fitting. Um, hopefully, I'm not butchering your name. You can leave it in a comment down below. But thank you so much for your support over on Patreon. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, dudes, I am so excited. Oh, we gotta level up too. I was doing a little kill in here, and I think we're gonna be pumping melee damage for quite a bit. I'd like to get this pretty high, and then we'll come back and start working on weight a little bit. But the cool thing about having an RG now is we can actually do some exploring. And uh, kind of go check out the map because I have seen very little of this map and I want to go check out this one spot here uh, the area right over here I want to go see what this is all about I haven't been I think this is probably about the farthest I've been kind of the inlet of this little lake lakey area so I think we're gonna do some exploring to wrap up today and I'm not sure if you guys if you saw before we did the video did you see me place the gate you might have it's been a little while yeah, so we got our behemoth gate over here, which actually I think is a pretty nice spot. We've got these other ruins up here that we can do something with, but I also wouldn't mind leaving these open for anybody else to uh, do something with. Can we fit through here? Oh, wow. Impressive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we can also pick up a beaver, and we can start, uh, hopefully, maybe we can find a high-level beaver today, but, you know, I don't really have a good place to tame one out. So I think that's going to be kind of our next build project is uh, we're actually going to be rebuilding the octagon because that was a super convenient taming pin and it was a lot of fun to build. Oh, what is that? Is that a Bronto? What are you? Diplodocus. <laughs> what up, dude? Um, that's one of the new dinos. I actually haven't seen these guys yet. Let's see what they look. Oh, there's another one. Apparently they're not very rare. Diplodocus, what are you doing? Are you eating something? I guess he was eating something. I don't really know what's going on there. Look at that tail, though, man. Super long tail. But yeah, so let's do some exploring, man. I want to go see what's going on. I think I would guess that that's what's called kind of, you know, why this map name is the center. So I want to go check out the center. Oh, whoa, here's somebody's base. Who is this? Oh, this is Lapis's place? Lapis Lori, huh? Look at her go, man. She's been busy. Goodness. Look at all these dinos and stuff. Man, she's got... Wow, she's like doubled up. Oh, three dire bears? That is nuts. 
So Lapis Lori is an actually a really old good friend of uh, mine and Drax. Actually, a lot of people on the server back from the Hypermind server, um, an old Minecraft server that actually a bunch of us used to play on. Slip, Z, Drax, now Lapis, and is that everybody? I think that might be everybody from the Hypermind server, but that was years ago. So she's a good old Minecraft friend of ours. That's cool. I'm I'm glad to see that she's actually up and going over here. So. I think she would have a lot of fun with the building in this game. So anyways, well, let's continue on. Actually, you know what? I got some ruins to explore. Is anybody else set up over here? I feel like this is a good spot for people to set up, but I'm not seeing too much. Oh, these ruins are wicked looking. We should have chose this rock formation. Nah, that's not that big of a deal. All right, well, is there anybody set up in here? This RG is really slow. I forget how slow the RGs are when you first get them until you start pumping some movement speed in them. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't seen any of this yet. It looks like somebody's... Oh, no. I thought some... From the bottom side, that looked like wooden ceilings. Didn't it? Can we see down here? No. Is that it? That was tripping me out. I guess they just kind of look like wooden ceilings or something like that from afar, so... All right. Well, let's uh, work our way over, and I'm guessing that's it right there. All right. Well, we are almost there, man. This map is actually pretty big. I didn't realize it was going to be this far of a travel away from here. But um, so it looks like the swampy area is over here, and that's actually a pretty good thing. I was wondering where the swamp was located on this map, so it's kind of close to the center. And I would guess, if I had to guess, I feel like it would just going to wrap around this entire ring here. Oh, but check this. This is oh, this is so cool, man. I'm at a loss for words. So I wonder if there's water dinos down there. Can we go down here? I'm kind of scared to go down here. It looks like we can. Is that a dino right there? A white, oh, the white thing under the water? Dude, this is epic. This is so cool. Alright, I'm not really seeing too much down here. Looks like there's just like a little shoreline with some leaves and stuff. Now what about over on that side? Are there any dinos down here? Like special ones? Probably not. Okay, so let's get up here and check this guy. Oh man, is that a cave? So much shiny! Look at all the giant plant roots. That's so cool looking. But yeah, this is the really the first time that I've gone exploring around the island. I've done a little bit of exploring kind of over by where we're set up, but i um, really been kind of too nervous to go inland any on those crap little pteranodons that we got. So those were really low level when we tamed them out. But now that we have an RG, we actually have enough stamina that we don't have to land like every two seconds. Oh, look how fast that water's moving, man. Oh, that is so cool. There's RGs in here. Saber cats. Level 5 RG. Wow. So, it's kind of nice to get out and stretch my wings, so to speak. This place is wicked. I wonder if anybody's building here. I don't think we really have any place off-limits. This might be off-limits, because I feel like this would be a cool community thing, but since we're all doing the separate tribes, I don't know if that's really something we're doing. It'd be cool to set up in here, but I don't think anybody is. Oh, we got metal up in here. That's cool. so much so much to explore oh dude I love the color in here it's so green we got beavers no those are scorpions look at all the scorps dude oh no we got beavers what level don't die beavers saber tooth oh I can't see 55 okay so y'all are pretty low level we have any other ones there's carnos in here. Man, this place is pretty dangerous. Oh, look at all the beavers, though, man. Oh, and there's a dodic. Level 55 dodic. What levels? I need levels. It's so hard to see them, though. Yep, I'm lost. They get they swim too fast in the water. Dimorph, 85. That's cool. I've never tamed a dimorph before. That may be something we have to do. But man, look at this place. This is so cool. Is there like... Oh, whoop. Is that a scorpion falling? Okay. Is there stuff up here too? I 
hate that shadow glitch, man. It's like all pixelated. It kind of looks like... Sh is that a fence? What is that? I feel like that was a fence. Or maybe that's just the like the line of the island? Oh, terror bird. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. I'm going to see if I can find a decently high level beaver. If I find a 150, we're taking it today. But if not, then I'm just going to kind of keep my eye out for uh, after we build our taming pin. Well, there's a level 125 right there in front of us. But I think we might hold off. Sooner we don't have a taming pin, we don't have any kind of kibble or nothing set up. Um, I really don't know if we'll be able to get kibble. I think it's Gallimimus kibble for the beavers. And we don't have any Gallimimuses or Gallimimuses. What's the plural for Gallimimus? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we definitely know where we can come back for actually pretty much everything. There's Ankies up here, there's Dodix, there's Beavers, there's Raptors, there's Carnos, all kinds of cool stuff up in here. So we'll definitely have to come back and take a look a little bit more when we're ready to start taming some things. But I think all in all, um, we're going to head back over to base and we'll probably wrap up the episode here. I know it was probably going to be a little bit of a short one today, but take quite a bit of time to uh, do some taming and stuff but anyways let me fly back over there and we'll meet back up ah home sweet home that, that was a long flight coming back from the center over there I didn't realize it was that far I kind of took a detour coming around the backside um, I just wanted to see kind of who was set up around here and we got I think his generic B is not too far up that way and then right around the other corner is Paul source jr. so we've got some neighbors here it's not too bad but I got to thinking too about our base here so this is going to be kind of like our main hut right um, so we definitely need to do a couple of different things here somebody suggested in the comments that we can actually build out a few more platforms here and I think we're definitely gonna do that we could actually build out even further and just run uh, pillars all the way down to the ground if we wanted to so that's something to think about too and I was thinking right here we may do like another big platform kind of coming up here from pillars if we can get it to work right I don't know how to work with the stones down below but we could have a ramp coming from this side or this corner up to this cliff side up there. I think would be pretty cool. And uh, let's actually go ahead and jump on the bird. And we'll fly around a little bit and see what's going on. But it would be cool to have like a ramp coming from here to that one over there. And then we'll have another ramp going up to that one. And then maybe from there we could actually build a cross up to this one. And do some really fun like connections builds I think would be pretty neat I don't know it's gonna be a lot of work so our next goal is definitely to get a beaver so I think next episode we're gonna be working on a taming pin we'll probably be building the octagon from last season um, I had a lot of fun with that one it was really practical so we may just go ahead and copy that design again or we could do something different so if you've got ideas make sure you leave them down below in the comments and uh, yeah other than that, we need a dodic for stone, a beaver for wood, a quetzal would be nice, but I don't know. It's not that important right now, I suppose. <laughs> Got so much work to do around here. So anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. And big shout out to Slip. Thank you for uh, helping me get this RG all tamed up, man. I really, really appreciate it. If you do not know who Slip is, um, I think you're living under a rock. But if you don't know who he is, there is a link to his channel down below in the description that you can go check him out. He's got some really cool stuff over there. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, if you're interested in helping me, supporting me and my channel, make sure you go check out the link to the Patreon page down below. There's a lot of really cool rewards over there. You get your name after Dino here. And we're also going to be doing a patron server at some point once we hit our first goal over there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to be someplace, uh, another ARC server where I'll actually join with you guys. We'll be doing some video content stuff over there. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, but other than that, dudes, hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time for some more ARC Survival Evolved here on the Poop and Evolved server. <laughs> All right, dudes. Thanks for watching. Peace.